Hey guys, Alec Gamer 40 here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a Unreal. Or what am I saying? Today I'm gonna show you how to make a Five Nights at Freddy's Unreal Engine 4 game, or to make a FNAF fan game in Unreal Engine 4. However you wanna say it. So first things first, um, you wanna download Unreal Engine 4, and for that I'll leave a link in the description so you can download it for yourself. Um, it's totally free. However, you will need an account, but other than that, it's totally free. So, let's start. So, once you download Unreal Engine 4, um, you'd want to click your shortcut. So, you want to double-click Unreal Engine. This is a shortcut. And that'll open it. Oh, and by the way, this is part one, and in part one, all we're doing today is the menu. So, in part two, we're going to make an office. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering why all this VR stuff keeps showing up, you'll see why in a second. Um, so now that so now you should be at this page. Recent projects are following in Five Nights at Cindy's U4, which stands for Unreal Engine 4. I know that can sound wrong, but hey. So then you want to go to New Project Categories. You wanna you wanna hit Games. Next. And first person will be shooting, and it's more painful to remove the gun and stuff. So we're just going to do third person, and then next. And for project name, we'll make it FNAF. Oops. FNAF Game Tutorial. And by the way, this is where um your project will be uh, moved to. So, FNAF Game Tutorial, so right here is where your project will be moved to. And by the way, if you guys want to see our project, like in the folders, you just hit Folders, Documents, and double-click on Real Projects, and that's where it will be. So then you want to hit Create Project. So in Part 1, we're just doing the menu today. And in Part 2, we're going to add a little more to the menu. So as I was saying, the reason this um, software keeps showing up, which you'll see why in a second, is because here. So if you see this, just exit out of that. Not important. It's because if you hit this down arrow next to play, you'll see there's VR preview. It's mainly because of the VR in Unreal Engine 4. So yeah, it's nothing to be worried about. So, first things first, right off the bat, you'll notice that you're moving around. When you're moving around, camera not wanting to clip through the wall. And you have a third person character, but FNAF is first person. That's when it's scarier. Unless you're an animatronic or something. So, we're, so if you want to exit the project, just press escape. And to make it third person, you're going to want to click your character. Click Edit Blueprint, Open Blueprint Editor. Um, right click to move, or you know, to like scroll throughout this. Just, just right click and hold. So you want to click Viewport, and you want to hit the camera, and you want to hit the Delete button to delete it. And also get rid of Camera Broom, not that you have to. Like, not that it'll do anything, but I just like to delete it. And then click Mesh, SK Mannequin, Clear, Compile, and Save. And now if you notice, and by the way, how I got out of there, this is the, you know what, never mind, you just click the X to get out of stuff. So when I, oh, and by the way, if you want to access the level blueprint, like if you go to um, Content, Third Person BP, Maps, so... It'll be the, if you go to blueprints, open level blueprint, it'll be the blueprint of this very map. However, we haven't done anything yet. So, we're just going to focus on the menu. So, we're going to go back to content. Right click. New folder. And we'll, and we'll name it widgets. Double click. Right click. User interface. Widget blueprint. And we'll name it main menu. And then double click main menu. Um, and now you should be here. And this may be a little complicated, but trust me, if, if you follow everything I say, you should get through this no problem. 
So you want to click um, search palette and you want to hit and you want to do text. Drag that down, click and drag, and hover your mouse over canvas panel and let go, and now you'll see this. And you want to rename it, so you'll go to content and text, and you just want to, you know, like hold down and just hover over that. Well, you know what I mean. And then backspace, and then just name it five. And then you'll be thinking, hey, this is way too small for a menu, and you're right. So then you want to go to search details, size, click this, backspace, and redo it to 60. And that's much better. So now we can just, so now we can just backspace, and now appearance, color, and opacity, I'm gonna click. And we're going to make it red, which you can easily do by dragging this up. And then it says drag and drop colors here to save. So we're just going to drag this color to here. And now you'll notice it's this. Now, let's say we didn't do that. Because then it like we just, because then if we like try to do it to red, it'll just be, you know. So move this to an area um, you like. Copy and paste, which is aka control C, control V, and then five um, nights, and the reason it's staying red is because I'm copying and pasting it when it's already red. At now, let's show you guys how you would do it. Move in here, drag it down. <laughs> And then you want to drag it here. And if you want to make it the same color, you just want to click this, which is the color we dragged in. And that's how you would and that's how you do it. So we're just gonna um grow this up to 60. And are you guys ready for this? Five nights at drum roll, please. Five nights at home! Oh wait, whoops. Then I messed it up. Five nights at home. I messed it up with my own drum roll. But yeah, that's pretty much what it is though. Five nights at home. And I just realized I moved these too low. So we're just gonna go ahead and move these up. I'm not saying you have to do this. I just like to stick to the classic you know what. Um and you wanna make sure there's an equal distance between all of them. And make sure they're perfectly lined up. So now you want to go to palette and and backspace and type in button. Button. And you want to drag down to canvas panel. And now you can, if you click and hold, you can scale it. So you're gonna drag this down here. Not saying you have to do this, but I would recommend. Appearance, um, color and opacity. Click this and click the color you just dragged in a while ago and click it. Um, it's normal. Oh, wait, my bad. You actually want to hit background color. Want to click it, click red. There we go. So, color and opacity. I think it. So, a tip that would be is it, that's what it do to the text that's inside of it. Because if we set this back to white, that'll make the text that we're going to later put inside of it white. So you actually want to do background, which changes the button's color. So then scale it and move it to a place you think it's comfortable. Um, control C. Now if you hit Control V. Oh, well. Hold on, that wasn't supposed to happen. Then if you Control C, Control V. I guess it will work. Okay, sorry. But that's not how you do it. You hit Control C, and then you click anywhere and Control V, and then Control C, Control C, Control V, and I made these buttons too. And I made these buttons too big. Oh well, because like I said, you don't have to um put the text and buttons wh where I'm going, because you can customize the menu up yourself. But this is just what I'm doing. 
And um, and the make the text one set of the button, you just click and drag the text and drag it on the button 37. Because you guys are going to see, because if you go to here, if we change color and opacity, and if you drag it up to red, if you look, you'll see the text turns red. So that's what the color, so it means color opacity of the text inside. But we want it to stay white. So click and search details while clicking the text. Size, click this, and 60. You know what, I have a better idea. Um, to save time. Click the text. Um, we're going to rename this to No Game. You can put spaces. Um, click Control C, Control V. And click this. You want to do Continue. And click. Drag this to line. I'm dragging this to line it up. Control C, Control V. The reason I keep clicking is because if you try it, well, it won't work. But if you do it, Control C, click anyone, Control V will work. But we don't have a fourth button, so we're gonna click this and make it quit. So I rename that to quit. Now I'm gonna compile and save, and you may think it's gonna show, which it won't really show. So we're gonna hit Escape. And we also need to um, start making the background. So you can just uh, simply start scaling this. If you click on something, you can scale it. Actually, what am I saying? If you click on an object, you can move it with the arrows. The yellow line outlines the object, the outlines of it. But if you click this, press R, and now you can scale it. You can click and drag. Here we go. And you want to go to materials. Click, search, black, click, and press W again to go back to arrows. Or you can press E to rotate. And you could also use these up here, but I just like to use keys. Let's see. It looks good enough, because like I said in part two, we're just going to, you know, um, make changes. Hold on. Oops. We're also going to set this to black, so just do what I did for this. The exact same thing to change it. So now, we can still move around, which ain't good. So, in order to prevent that, I'll show you in a minute. But also, you'll notice the widget didn't show. But we can fix that by going to Blueprints, Open Level Blueprint, right click, and hit Church Event, Begin, Play, and click it. Oh, and if you also notice, we want our mouse to stay here instead of going in. And we also moved, so I'm going to show you how to fix all this in one go. I'm going to drag off. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to hit set, show. And it's supposed to actually set, show, mouse. It's not there. So that's why we have to uncheck context sensitive. Uncheck it. And now it's here. So you want, so then you want to hit this and you want to check it. Compile and save. Oh. Oh yeah, what's in this needs a target. Hold on. So you want to click it and drag off. Get player. And you want to click. And then you want to click get player controller. Compile. And save. Exit. Test. And now we can't get rid of our mouse. But that doesn't change the fact that we can still move around. So, how do we fix that? Well, we're going to drag out. Create widget. This is to make our main menu widget visible. I'm gonna drag and only in player you wanna drag it it'll be get player controller but you can just drag it to this one. It won't change anything, don't worry. And then we wanna go to class, select class, main menu, drag off, add to viewport. Drag that up here, and we're gonna make it with this, otherwise you're gonna get so drag these together, otherwise you're gonna get compiling errors. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know where an error is, you can click target, and it'll take you to what the error is. So, but now if we compile and save, we have a menu. How? But we can still move around. So we want to drag. Wait, we don't want to drag. Never mind. But we do want to drag off here and do set input mode UI only. 
player controller. I'm gonna drag that all the way to here. Get player controller. I won't change anything. Put it to focus. You don't have to worry about that. Compile and save. And now we can't look around lower move. Now five nights at home. None of these buttons work. But I'll do one thing before we go, which is to make the quit button work. So all you have to do to make the quit button work is you want to click it, scroll down until you find unclicked. So you want to click that. And then you should be brought to here. You want to... Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm scrolling, you want to right-click and hold down on your right mouse button. And you can move it to scroll. And then you want to click and drag. And you want to search. And you want to type quit. Quit game. And then specific player, you want to drag off. Get player controller. And then compile and save. And now... We have a working quit button. Pretty cool, right? And then the next part, I'm going to focus on making an office as well as your transition. Um, by the way, I also meant to make this level select. And what I mean by level select, you'll see later in the series. But yeah, that's pretty much how you make a menu or how you make a main, main menu for now. So this is what I have for our main menu, because in the next part we might make some improvements, or we, well, we will add stuff to it. But this is all I'm going to do for now, so if you guys did like this video, please smash that like button. Oh wait, what am I, sorry, I'm getting the intro wrong. Alright, sorry, I'm messing up my own intro, wow. Sorry, um, alright, um, take two! Alright, so anyways, guys, if you, um, did like this video, please smash that like button. Wait, okay. Why am I messing up my own intro? I never do this before. Why am I messing up my own intro? I never do this before. Alright, take three. Um, I messed it up again. But, uh, anyways, guys, if you are new to my channel, please smash that subscribe button. Oh, and if you do like this video, please smash that like button. Oh, and tap that notification bell to never miss one of my videos. And anyways, guys, peace out.